So as you may have guessed from the title of this video, I bought a new camera. Film 56 has gone down the cinema line. So without further ado, I'll just get the camera and show you. So this is the Sony FX6. I'm going to put that down because it's heavy. So, why upgrade? I'm going to be honest with you, there was absolutely no need for me to upgrade to a cinema line camera. But I do feel like it's a push towards the right direction that I want to take the company in. It's just a fucking awesome camera, to be honest. And I just got a bit geeky. I had an opportunity to buy it, so I thought, let's invest in myself. So I'm going to show you what it comes like out the box, and I'm going to put it all together and show you how we got to the full build out. So here's the FX6, stripped down to pretty much how it comes out the box, um, besides the lens. Let's build it out into the camera that I showed you. So what I'm going to start off with is the advanced cage the top piece that just goes in on the four four screws there is this cable management thing here is originally on this bit so you just got to get a tiny screwdriver pop them out <laughs> Take this bit out, it's for the audio sync on the handle, which get the top handle and it just stows away there safely. You can pop that in. Sure. Right, yep. Finger tight, no tools needed. Now I'm going to do the bottom plate. Tighten them down. I'm not cranking all of these screws. I just don't feel the need to move the camera. And then lastly, for the advanced cage, you got this bridging piece here. It sort of ties it all in and protects the camera. Wrong one. So that's the gear, the tilter cage attached. So what I'm going to do now for a bit of stability and so I can mount its tripods and stuff is pop on a little bottom plate. I'd like a quick release plate if anybody knows of a decent quick release plate to go on these cameras on the tilter cage. Trust the old 20p piece. That gives it a bit more solid base to stand up on its own and mount to my tripod. I'm going to mount the uh, side handle that comes with the camera, just attaches for a, a mount here, and then it gets all the information from this cable. So let's attach that. What I like to do is attach the cable first because it can be a bit fiddly to get in. 
There we go, line the dots up, and it'll click in place. I think there's loads of options there on how to hold the camera. Looks in, sturdy. Awesome. So on the Tilter Advanced Cage, I did forget one thing. And, uh, this comes with the dummy battery that slots in the back. Like that. And then, there we go. Tuck it in there so the cables aren't in the way. And there is a screw going there to keep it all together. Brilliant. So we have the monitor mount that actually comes with the camera. But again, Sony left loads of mounting options. And I'm going to have my own monitor, so I just screw it onto the back there, run the cable, you see down there, it just clips in. We have the Sennheiser MK600 microphone with a spacer because um, only Sony microphones fit this camera or the microphone holder, so you need a little spacer. Clip it into place. Lovely. Got the dead cat wind sock thing just to add on. Doesn't really need it. That's just for outdoor shoots. And we have the XLR inputs. So we have one there. It just clips onto the back. It just plugs in there for a bit of cable management. The Lily put monitor. I do want to upgrade monitors but I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment. And this monitor works great, so. If anyone's got any suggestions on what monitor to get, I'd like to know. And then, because I want to put like LUTs and stuff on the monitor, because this one literally just doesn't really do anything. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And then, here we have the HDMI cable for the monitor. Goes in there, like so. To power the monitor, I have this dummy battery to detap. Then what we do, just slot that in, run it down this way, and then on the tilter itself there's a d-tap that is pretty much the camera and then what I had now to power everything this is v-mount battery this does good work it tells you everything I need to know it's got two d-taps which you don't really need because they got the advanced cage got d-tap and then the USB ports and then just clip that on the back there. And that's it. So there we have it. That's my FX6 build. I feel like this camera is going to stick with me for a very long time. Because I'm just starting out in my film career. It's going to take me a long time to sort of get the full potential out of this camera. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like the build out of the camera. And... I shall see you on the next video. Bye.